hello guys welcome to my youtube channel today i'll be talking to you about the death of anifa abubakar the way the groom's son death was carried out and how police were able to arrest the two suspects who were involved in the in gruesome murder before i dive into the story let me say a very big thank you to those who have subscribed to my channel i do appreciate your support thank you very much i also appreciate my returning viewers and if you are new here kindly click the subscribe button down there and turn on the notification bell so that you'll be informed when i upload subsequent videos please like and share this video so as to encourage me and support my channel make me support your bio now let's go into how this story really happened the, from the beginning to the very end First of all, who is Anifa Abubakar? Anifa Abubakar is the five-year-old girl that was kidnapped and later she was killed in Kano State. The police in Kano, they've arrested two suspects in, in, in regards to the gruesome murder of Anifa Abubakar. The name of the suspects are Abdul Malik Mohamed and Ashim, Ashim Iska Ishiaku. They were arrested for the abduction and killing of Anifa Abubakar. Anifa Abubakar is just she's just five years old. She's innocent. She's you looking if you see her videos, you see how innocent this girl, this small girl is. So let's go to how this story really happened. Anifa Abubakar was she was buried in a shallow grave and her remains was discovered at the private school premises in Kwanayan Ghana Tundun. Mutala quarters Nasarawa local government area can in Kano states. This her remains was discovered by the police. The suspects Abdul Malik Mohammed and Ashim Isiaku they adopt they abducted Anifa on the on the second of December 2021. That was last month. So and they took the victim to a hideout where they contacted they later contacted Anifa's relatives and for a ransom of about six million naira, Abdul Malik Mohammed was was Anifa's private teacher, and having realized that Anifa recognized him, Abdul Malik decided to poison Anifa to death. So after she after Abdul Malik poisoned her to death. He, he pushed, pushed her into pieces and buried her in a shallow grave. That was what happened in December last year. Police postman in the state, SP Abdullahi Aruna Kiyawa, confirmed the incident in his statement. He said in his statement that in December 4, 2021, at about 8.30 p.m., a report was received from a resident of Dakata Quarters, Nasarawa Kano State. It's Nasarawa LG. So, in the report, it was stated that one Anifa Abubakar, who is just five years old, was kidnapped and a ransom of six million naira was demanded. That was what this uh, exposed person of Kano State Police Command said. Aruna Kiyawa said that the CP met with the heads of security agencies in the state and they re-strategized and raised a team of Operation Puff Ada, which was led by SP Shewu Dairu to arrest the coup priest. Sustained effort and prolonged follow-up led to the arrest of uh, Abdul Malik Mohamed Tanko. He was the one to that was first arrested is just is 30 years old and Ashim Isiaku is who is 37 all of Tudum Muntala quarters. This arrest was done by the detective team of the Department of State Services DSS. And during investigation, Mohamed Tanko confessed that the victim Anifa was a student at a private school in Kwana Dakata Nasarawa Kano State. He kidnapped her from his conversion he said he kidnapped her and took her to his house where he contacted her relatives and demanded a sum of six million naira. and on december 18 2021 having realized abd malik realized that the victim recognized him and he claimed that he had to poison her to death he conspired with 
Ashim Isyaku and buried her in a grave located at the private school premises at Kwana Yangana Tundum Mutala. As that's what he said. That was his confession. He further added that Isyaku also confessed that in November 2021, the principal suspect and one Fatima Musa 27 met and ordered him to kidnap the girl. So that was the when they were planning how to kidnap the girl. The planning started in November 2021. The police public relation officer revealed that the suspects led a combined team of DSS operatives, police commands, medical team, and operation Puffada to where they buried the the girl. And the body was exhumed and taken to Mohamed Abdullahi Wase Specialist Hospital, which is located in Kano. Here it was examined and later released to the relatives for burial according to Islamic rights. Guys, I think the rate at which crime is now happening in Nigeria is very alarming these days. It seems nowhere is safe in the country again. I also see that we hardly have people with conscience in the country because how on earth will you poison an innocent girl and still go ahead to butcher her before burying her? The level of wickedness in the country is at another level. Let me well, let me know what to think about this in the comment section before I go. Let me say a very big thank you once again to those that have subscribed to my YouTube channel. I do appreciate your support. Thank you very much. I also appreciate my returning viewers. And if you are new here, kindly click the subscribe button down there so that you can join. You can be part of this uh, amazing family. Guys, see you in another video.